Hello party people, I'm Will Pemble. I'm John Elliott. We are going to take this mess of a garage and transform it into a wonderful, glorious workshop. Thanks in no small part to the amazing woodworking for mere mortals. I am a huge fan of Mimo. John, what did you do with this plan for this workbench? We took his plans and we figured out where we want to change it. Make it longer, make it narrower, that sort of stuff. I've never built a workbench before, right? I've used them, but I've never built one. How much easier is it if you start with the Mere Mortals template, if you will, and then go from there? Oh, it's way easier. I don't have to draw the pictures. <laughs> I don't have to draw any pictures. I just have to put in the numbers. So a little bit of minor math, and we're going to end up with some awesome, awesome workbenches. The, the idea here is we're going to have a 16-foot bench that goes all along this wall, and then another 9- or 10-foot bench that comes along the back wall of the garage, huge amounts of storage underneath. So all of this crap that you see in the room right here, it's all going to be gone by the time we're done, and it's going to be replaced with this beautiful, gigantic open space with lots and lots of storage. Is that everything? Shall we get working? Let's start working. All right, here we go. This is the air supply for the fireball machine. I'm going to use this to power the ping pong ball elevator. More on that later. Remember the Weldy Wagon? If you don't have at least this much bubble wrap at your house, I honestly don't know what you're gonna do when kids come over. You roll it out in the driveway, they can ride their bikes over it, you can wrap them in. Come on. Yeah, the kids. For the kids. <laughs> John likes to do things in order. <laughs> I like to do things. Mimo, if you didn't get a commission on this, you deserve a commission on this, because I bought this because of you. So, that's our new dimensions for everything there. Mostly, mostly fours, a couple twos, and a one. Okay. Read off the sizes of these, John. The A's. A's should be 37 and one quarter inch long. B. 26 and one quarter. C. Also 26 and one quarter. D. Four inches. E. 22 inches. F. 19 inches. G. 91 inches. H. 88 inches. So that's all you need to make a workbench, except for what? But you gotta put it together. <laughs> Gosh, how did all our clamps get melted? <laughs> <laughs> me marveling at the fact that the measurements John made were absolutely correct. It's crazy. <laughs> oh geez, you're putting your body weight to good use now. I'll say it, that feels good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't say it. Don't say it that well. Can I sit on the other ones? No. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> You're not sitting on that thing anymore. Alright, you wanna drive? I will try. Iron the hole.
in there, Tom. Look at those joints. Look, Mimo, are you proud of us? What's your secret? Um, uh, secret? I have no secret. <laughs> <laughs> no secrets at all. All right, now what do we do? Do we like put screws in this thing or nail it or glue it or? I think we put screws in it. Stand inside it? Um, I wouldn't stand inside it, but yes, I would put screws in it. Don't, so don't stand inside it. Now you can stand on Bante, Bante! That's plenty high for anything that we're going to be putting on those shelves. Yeah. No, I like it. Okay. One at either end, and we got ourselves the lower part of the bench. Done. Yep, that looks perfect. Square. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's done. Next is the, the top. We made one. Oh, are you gonna make another one tonight? I think so. Okay, I was gonna say. Wow. It took us like five hours. Yeah. <laughs> That's the show for the day. That's the build. An amazingly strong, wonderful, easy to put together workbench in a weekend. Just like Mimo promised, we did it. Well, we did it in five hours, but John is here and he is an actual professional and there were two pairs of hands and there's a whole lot of stuff that made it take five hours here. But if you put a weekend aside, you could build yourself one hell of a great workbench. We're gonna build two more of these real quick before dinner. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and, uh, and the main thing, the reason we're getting these workbenches done is I got a lot of projects in my head now. I've got the ping pong ball rain machine, a flamethrower, a station for the coaster in the backyard, high altitude weather balloon launch project. What, do you have any ideas? No. John's wife Tina's gonna build a, an awesome costume for D23. I might assist with that one too. We're gonna make videos about that. That's the scoop, that's all we have time for today. Thank you for helping us bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. I'm Will Pemble. John Elliott. <laughs> we'll see you soon.